Sally's surprise was evidently due to the word, friend. She grew up alone and was bullied for years. When she entered an aristocratic school like Holly Briar High School, she was disliked by almost all the students and given the nickname of Unlucky Sally. It's a luxury for Sally, my friend. Who would have thought that as soon as school started, she would make a new friend and her only friend? Even though this friend was technically her junior student, but from the very beginning, and the thrilling scene just now, it is not clear that the relationship between the two is the elder sister and the younger brother. Sally is in the absolute protection of the party. The whole day was like nothing Sally had experienced in the last dozen years. Now, she felt like she was floating in midair, unable to touch the ground. She hid her excitement and joy well. She even wanted to go on if she could. It was the highlight of her dull, miserable life. But unfortunately, before she could feel it for a few more seconds, a rough, hoarse voice interrupted her thoughts. Sally, isn't it you? What are you doing out so late? Go home. The sound came from the second floor, very characteristic. Accompanied by the sound of tapping on the wooden floor, letting people immediately imagine the scene of a fat woman walking with a calm face. Sally was shocked, but she quickly reacted by shouting. Mom, it's me. I'll be right up. After shouting, he said anxiously to Donkey, cross this street and then cross Center Avenue and you'll see the bus stop. Don't stay here too long. There's a lot of danger. I'm home. See you tomorrow. Sally seemed worried that her mother would lean out of the window and find Donkey downstairs. Without waiting for a response, she turned and took out the key, unlocked the large iron door, and went up the stairs with a conscious clattering sound. Donkey shook his head at the headless farewell, but without saying anything. He turned and followed Sally's directions to the stop. The fact that he already has Chaga fighting doesn't hide the fact that Tonki is a physically weak high school student who can handle unarmed gangsters. But if it's one of those murderous gangs, then it's gonna be hard for Donch. To avoid being one of the dead on the streets, Tonki needs to leave quickly. But as he turned, a strange sensation came over him. And the hairs on his arms stood on end. Eh? Watch? Targeted? Donch turned in surprise and looked the other way to the end. That's where Donkey and Sally came from. But when I looked past, I could see nothing but the flickering street lamps, the deserted streets, and the dark darkness. Staring at that particular interface, he didn't see anything wrong. And the eerie sense of being watched dissipated. For a moment, then turned and walked away without hesitation.